I'm David Rogers. I'm Connor Flanagan. I'm Courtney Sheehan. And today we're here to present Women in Action, so programs that help empower women in the workforce. And what we're going to go over today is basically what the information technology industry is and what women in the work for workforce are actually doing and facts surrounding them. And then women in IBM and what programs IBM is doing to support and empower women. And then what can Skillsoft offer to companies like IBM who are facing these issues? So first, looking at the industry. Uh, the IT industry major, mainly consists of on-site facility management, developing and integrating hardware, and coding and testing custom software. So whether that be like cash management software for specific kinds of companies or register software. And then when you look at the when you look at the industry overall, it produces about three hundred and forty billion dollars in revenue annually, and it's also one of the top fastest growing industries in the whole national and global economy. And the field is predicted to grow at twenty two percent in the next decade. Um, for the facts, research shows that 40% of women with a degree in IT didn't enter their field of study in five years after their graduation, and women working in IT make 84 cents to every dollar that a man makes in the same industry. Uh, International Business Machines, or also known as IBM, is, a multi, is an American multinational technology consulting corporation headquartered in Armont, New York. IBM manufactures and markets computer hardware, offers consulting services in areas ranging from mainframe computers to nanotechnology. Uh, originally in 1911 as a computing tabulating recording company, CTR, re renamed in 1924 as IBM, <coughs> ranked second largest U.S. firm in terms of employees, 435,000 worldwide, and ranked ninth most profitable. It also has 12 research laboratories worldwide bundled into IBM Research. Uh, on October 10, 2005, IBM became the first major company in the world to commit formally to not use genetic information in employment decisions. Uh, it began a women's advocacy program in 1995 that has made much success empowering women and making them feel comfortable in the workplace. IBM was one of the only seven firms to achieve the status of having been recognized by Moskowitz and Townsend for 10 consecutive years as a company whose corporate culture is supportive of working women. And IBM's current chairman and CEO is Virginia Rometty, the first woman to head the company. All right, so Skillsoft's ideas for uh, IBM, they essentially created leveled courses for emerging leaders all the way to senior leaders. Um, and what's really cool about this is that they learn information that's pertinent to them. They're not just like learning something that they've already known. Um, and they want to increase uh, we chose IBM because IBM already has a current interest in increasing women in the workforce. Um, in the audience, uh, actually, next slide. Um, so each level, like I said, contains core learning content and activities, uh, learning outcomes, and self-assessment measurement tools that work into the women's schedules. So it's easy for them to do this. It's not like if they're going out of the way to try and learn uh, new things. Uh, it also helps them become uh, well-rounded professionals. It covers all aspects that create a um, professional business performance. Um, and then also IBM uh, is able to see the progress being made. So it's not like they're just wondering how this is working. Uh, they're working directly with Skillsoft if they were to um, do this and they can see directly how it impacts their industry and their company as a whole. So Hewlett Packard, also known as HP. Um, Hewlett Packard concentrates on increasing the represent representation of women working for their company. They do so by attending sponsor conferences and career fairs targeting female students looking for technical careers. Some examples of these um, conferences are the Women's International Networking Summit in Italy, the Women's Forum in France, and the Women at Work in Japan. And in conclusion, what we've learned is women are underrepresented in business worldwide. Research on the IT industry validates the need for women leaders. IBM, which is also International Business Machines, is a multinational technology and consulting corporation. And specifically, Skillsoft wants to increase the level of women working in IT by creating new programs and courses.